Hi everyone and welcome back to Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. Here we are and we're going to be working on our Shelby Cobra today. Quite exciting. As you can see I have stripped her down to her basic shell. This is literally all we've got left. Um, can we potentially look to... Uh, this is the shell isn't it? We, all the little bits and bobs are off. Oh, except the windscreen maybe. We can probably uh, take those out. Can we? Yeah, take that off. We can take the um. We take the mirror. No, the mirror seems to be uh, a permanent fixture. Okay. Um, everything else has been stripped, as you can see. Um, I'll get that window off as well, and we'll take that left side mirror off. There. Now everything has fully been stripped. That looks good. So first things first, we're going to rebuild this uh, from new, and then when we're able, let's have a quick look at the skills menu. Um, so it's not hit until we get to here we can look to do spray painting ourselves so it's going to be a while so she's going to be in the, the warehouse for a while but we're going to do a little bit every now and then to see um, what we can and build her up slowly right so we need a little bit of a shopping list now I did, I did a quick look uh, let's start with the engine we're looking for an engine block V8 OHV so that is what we are looking for where's some engine blocks We are in. Oh, here we go. Engine block. Engine heads. Engine blocks. V8. That's the one we want. That is the bad boy. Two thousand two hundred and fifty bucks. Wowzer. Um, we. Whew, a little bit faint now. Uh, I know we need. We're going to try and build the engine and the front suspension today. That is the plan. We need two front of those. I know they're steering knuckle C's. We'll probably need two front wheel hubs. We'll probably need um, a couple of wheel bearings as well. So that's the start. I don't know which hub they require, so we may need to uh, have a look at that in a second. But if we start off and get the engine block in. Oh, there she is. Look at that. Brand spanking new engine block with so much glare off the interior lights is incredible. Right, what do we need? Um... Uh, we need to all do that via the the lift, which is fine. Okay, we'll um, hop, skip, and jump out of there and lift her up. The engine block is in. It's kind of just floating in um, midair. What we can also get is the suspension cross member in. Uh, now, the suspension cross member is a front steering. No, it's not. Sorry, it's I'm reading the wrong line. Front suspension cross member D. So uh, we also need a sway bar B. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's try and have a look. Here we go. Cross members. And we wanted a D. Cross member D. That's the one. So we'll get the main cross member in. That will also give us a little bit of um, feeling for where everything else is. And everything else obviously can then attach to it. Let's pop that in then. Lovely. We'll get the uh, rubber bushes in there. Oh, this is going to be such a dream car. As I say, I'm not going to rush it. We'll um, we'll take it in, uh, as long as it takes to get it up. I want to get obviously get the um, the paintwork done when we are able. So we'll uh, get what we can do with our skill tree as it is. Do we have a filter? No, we don't know. We need to buy one of those. Sometimes I've got some spares in stock, you see. I think I've got a steering rack. No, didn't buy one of those. Definitely got the sway bar. I'm sure I bought the... Maybe I didn't buy a front sway bar. Um, knuckles sixty. Yes, I've got. Oh, I've got um two brand new ones of those, and I've also got a fairly decent uh, reconditioned one. Bottom arm suspension. I don't have any of those. Need to get one of those. And upper arm suspension. Okay, let's just quickly buy those, and then we can get those fitted as we're here. Um, sway bar, front sway bar B. I swore I bought that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I bought something else. Well, I must have bought something else. It's telling me I bought something else. Right, bottom suspension arm, let's get two of those. And we need an upper suspension arm as well. Eyes don't fail me now. There's a lower suspension. Where's the upper? It'd be alphabetical, so it'd be up here. Upper suspension arm, there we go. Another 360 bucks spent, wow. Don't worry, she's going to be worth it. If nothing else, it's a, it's a, it's a build of passion, so we're going to 
get this to be absolutely gorgeous. Get the old front top suspension on. Need some rubber bushes. These are these are good. These are all in the 80s, but um, I want to get some brand new ones on this. This is one that wants to be around 100 percent So there we go. We'll get that in there. Uh, do we have any end links? Now we get some of those. What's this? This is a front knuckle cover. We have one which is 97%, but we'll get a couple more. That's fine. Um, so we want a front wheel knuckle cover. So rear. Oh, the front ones. There we go. Get a couple of these. Only 18 bucks a piece, which is fine. We'll get some... We'll get some tie rods. I'm sure I've got some, but we'll get some of those. I'm guessing as we've got the sway bar B... We will probably need the end link uh, bees, and we'll get some rubber bushings. Let's buy another gazillion of these. There we go, lovely. And we'll get back to work on here. So, was I right? Yes, that was a bee link. I thought it was a bee. Lovely. Um, I've already tested. I don't have a steering rack. Okay, uh, do I have any? No. So that's a double wishbone shock absorber. We can build that up. That should be no problem. Get that installed there. Got a new front hub, which I bought. Yep. Get those added on there. Get the bearing in. Oh, my mouse got stuck. That's in nicely. Um, wheel cap. I don't think I've got any of those. No, we'll have to get a wheel cap. Some ventilated discs. I need to get that as well. Okay. So let's get the steering rack as well. As we are here. Oh, steering rack right there. Look at that. Oh, a couple of wheel hubs as well. That'll be just the treat. Oh, look at that. When's the, when do you ever go into the, the shop and it's just there right for you? Could have got some um, brakes and stuff, if I remembered. Okay, so we want some ventilated brakes. Obviously get some... Um, Shoes or pads as well, and a couple of calipers as well. Let's get a couple of shoes as well. And I wanted ventilated front discs. Good. Get this one built up nicely. Do I have tie? I don't. Seriously, I don't have um, any tie bars. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at that. I normally have a running stock of them. Apparently not. Apparently not in this occasion. There's the. Outer, where's the inners? Uh, double wishbone front. Uh, let's get a couple of these springs, a couple of these caps as well. I'm guessing they're the ones we need. If not, I'll use them on something else, it's not a problem. Um, inner rod, there they are. Go, I'm blind. They're right there. I couldn't see them. Right. Uh, let's get that on. Get the outer tie rod on. Oh, I had hundreds of those already. Nice. Right, so that's on. Let's get the disc on. Good. Pads on. Yeah. Plenty of those. And the calipers. Oh, we've got some of the pistons as well, which is good. Good. So that is looking marvellous. Let's see if we can build some of those when I come over here. This is what I want. My shock absorber builder. Majing. Right, so I've got one of those. Get a new spring. I've already got some of those in stock, which is fine. Lovely. Get another one of those built. And while it's doing that, let's just double check that that is the right one. Otherwise, I've just built two shock absorbers. I don't actually need, but um, yes, it was the right one, yeah. I can read for once. Yes, good. So that suspension is looking pretty good there. That looks pretty, yeah, it looks pretty good. Right, let's get this one then and we'll build the other side and then we'll um, get to work on the the engine itself. So let's get the knuckle in. Let's get the uh, upper arm on. Use so many rubber bushings in this. It's unbelievable. 
Uh, let's get the lower arm in. Nice. Uh, we've done the wishbone, uh, the wishbone, the shock absorber, so we might as well get that in. We've got the tie rods, so we'll get those in and on and uh, secured. So tightens the entire build up. Nice. Right, so that is it basically done. Let's get the cover on. The hub. And the bearing. Yes. The cap. Yes. Got a brake on. Pads. Caliper. Oh, we need to probably get some more caliper cylinders. Or pistons, whatever you want to call them. Good, and that is the susp front suspension pretty much built. Yeah, nice. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good, I have to say. Right. Now we probably figure out what we need in here. So we need the crankshaft V8 uh, OHV. Good stuff. Right. <clears throat> so I thought I was going to choke them, but I didn't. I've uh, managed to come through it okay. Good. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, crankshaft, crank, 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 crankshaft. Um, that one. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think so. 160 bucks. Ooh, bit of lag as we come out of the uh, the browser menu. Let's get that installed. Nice. And now we can have a look at this. These are piston con rods, and we'll probably need the crankshaft bearings and the what's the bridges things called as well. Anyway, one, two, three, four. We need eight of those, of course. And we need to probably get a full... Do I have... Sometimes I have clutch bits and bobs on me, but I don't. Okay. So. What we need... Oh, I need to know which cap we need. Um, that's the thing. Uh, uh, P is further down than A in the alphabetical order, of course. Here we go. So we need eight of these. Wow, that's 576 bucks. We spent five grand so far. But it's okay. The suspension's looking good. And how is... Oh, she's already worth uh, 16,700. So, you know... In this state, that's how much she's worth. That's quite amazing when you think about it. Right, uh, let's get these pistons added in. Ah, I need the piston spring rings. Of course I do, of course I do, of course I do. We need these. 20 bucks each. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it, really? But fine, we'll go with it. You know, we can't really argue. We need them. Uh, so let's get these added in. One in. Oh, so silky smooth and shiny. Absolute dream. Look at this. Then we just need... To, obviously, these attach to the, the crankshaft with a little cap, which you saw earlier. I just need to know which specification cap they require. And then we can get those fixed in nicely. Uh, we need the engine head V8. Okay, obviously, that, that goes with the engine. That makes sense. Let's get these fitted. Nice. That's looking... Do I have a fuel filter on me? No, I don't. Now, normally I've got a ton of these stuff, so it's kind of just sitting there with me, but I don't on this occasion. Right, so that is building up nicely. Before we do that, let's just push her up on the old lift. Come under here. Let's have a look at the engine. And we need... Um... Oh, hang on. Get the right one. So we need... Oh, they're just, they're just called cap rods. And the crankshaft bearing cap. We need th three, four of those. Three of those and eight of the rod caps. Okay. Good stuff. So, um... If they're called rod caps, you'd expect them to be... Oh, there they are. I was being blind. 
Need eight of those. And then we'll probably need uh, Are they the ones? Uh, let's buy those. I'm not sure if they are the exact ones I need actually, but again, like with anything in this thing, you will always use them if you buy them accidentally, so don't panic. Worst case scenario is you can always sell them back. You may lose a little, a few bucks, but it's nothing drastic in the uh, the grand scheme of things. So we'll get these added on. No, I don't have one of those. Okay. Whatever I bought, I did buy the wrong one, but I'm not terribly worried. They will get used eventually. All right, get all these attached. Right, so what is that? That is a crank... Sh nope, it is the crankshaft bearing cap. Crankshaft bearing cap. And we need the camshaft as well. It just said a camshaft, so we're going to go with that one. Uh, now we need the crankshaft bearing cap. Crankshaft bearing cap. These are the ones. I think we need three, but we'll get four just so I don't have to come back into the menu. Right, let's have a look now, then. Get you added. Nice. Oh, no, I got the wrong one. Damn it. Should read it. Slow down, read the what you need, really. What I need to do is actually make a shopping list. If you play this on your own, I recommend you have a pen and pad with you and write down the things you need. And you, Otherwise, you'll end up like me, buying stuff you don't need by mistake. Right, we also need an oil pan, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, I'll get those two bits now. Why would I buy a standard crankshaft? A camshaft, but don't worry, we will use it. There we go, that's what we want. And we want an... Um, we probably need that oil filter as well. And the oil pan, we'll need that one, I'm guessing. Again. We did just see it, and rather than me write it down so I get the right one, I will just kind of blag it sometimes. Right, I want to... Do I need to add... I'm guessing that actually... No, we can do that. Let's put the uh, little pan on. I'm guessing the camshaft we can put in from the bonnet side. So if we drop that down... Right, can we, probably this side maybe, can we put the camshaft in there, yes, that's how that baby can go in. Uh, we need a distributor, which we don't have, and we need uh, the cam gear as well, oh we'll need all these little, what are these little wires called. We need two engine head V8s, oh, what are they, oh, HVs, so we'll get those as we have. Um, Uh, e -E -E. Here we go. Engine heads. We need the two of those. And what are the little? Oh, we need all the little um the do we do's. The little um. Actually, I did an engine not so long ago, so I may have some spare. But we'll get, we'll get these added. Get the heads added, and I'll show you what I mean. All these, what are these called? Push rods, this is what we need. Yes, I got three on me. See, I did an engine not so long ago. So we can put those three in, and we'll get some more. We need a lot more. And then we get the rocker arms. Got a shed load of those. As you can see, I was working on an engine earlier. Good, right. We'll put this head on and then we'll get some more push valves. Push rods, sorry. And get the uh, the caps as well. Nice. 
Push rods and what are they? They are just rocker arms. Okay. I'm guessing it's just these ones. Um, so how many do we? We probably need about. Let's get twenty. That's more than we need, but that should cover us. They're they're very cheap pieces anyway. And we need the uh, rock rocker arms. There we go. We need. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Get a load of those. As you can see, I had a ton of those. Any any engines, especially VHs, you'll you'll need those. So we'll get those. Uh, two, four, six, eight. 10, okay, we have plenty. Let's get these added in. We'll do all the push rods to begin with, and then we'll put the, the rocker covers on. God, we spent nine grand so far. Plus the value, obviously, of the vehicle when we bought her. Obviously, everything I stripped off the vehicle, I. I went through the uh, process of trying to repair it, what could be repaired on the table, and um, anything else just got binned. I don't think anything did actually repair particularly well. If if it did, I may have sold it or put it onto another car. Because we don't have anything, it would appear, left of the original. Which is fine, because that was in a hell of a state. Right, that's one side done. Let's get the old va uh, the rods in here. Nice. So that's all that done. So we get some uh, engine cover A's. We get a couple of those. And we should be pretty good. Oh, we'll need a new battery. So we'll buy one of those as we're here. Um, engine covers, engine cover. Uh, it says engine covers A, didn't it? Oh, the head, sorry. Engine head cover. Cover A. That doesn't look like the right one. That one. Two of those, they're the ones. A little bit blind there, couldn't see those. Get those out of there. Look at that beautiful chrome gleaming away. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a B. Okay, I didn't realise they were. I thought there would be two for both sides. Okay. Okay, well, I bought. Um, Oh no, that's not the one. That's the one. Let's get that added. Nice. What do we need there? Intake manifold, two carb, and an ig ignition distributor. Let's try and get those then. Um. I think it's ignition coil B we'll also need. Ignition distributor, we'll need one of those. Uh, and we need a intake manifold two carb. Get this baby added. Oh, we already had one by looks of it. Oh well, never mind. Still got our spare. Get our ignition di distributor on. Do we have the road? No, we don't. Okay, fine. Uh, do we have any. Uh, carburetor, full barrel, that's what we need. Carburetor, full barrel, let's get a couple of those. Oh, 
this engine is absolutely gleaming. Look at it. Brand spanking new, looking wonderful. Um, we need the two carb. Oh, we've got one of those. Nice. Do we have... We don't have the two carb filter. I wonder if we have the cap. That'll be... Oh, there we go. Um, maybe we get the, the cap as well. We probably already had one, but 31 bucks. Yeah, we'll have a spare. That's fine. Get that added. Nice. Get the cap on. We didn't have a spare. That's good. Oh, look at that. That is looking good. Right, so we need an exhaust manifold. Times two. Let's get those added. Now, I think the exhaust manifolds are actually part of the engine selection rather than the exhaust. Which is not a teensy weensy bit confusing, but I could be wrong having said that. Oh, here we go, the manifolds. Um... I would say that. Here we go. Here's some more. Do, 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 do. Where's the V8? Am I being blind? Oh, there they are. Oh, look at that. A gazillion screws to put in. Do we have any spark plugs on us? Oh, we got hundreds of them. Again, one of those things that I buy in bulk. Because I know I'll just use an absolutely shed ton of those. Oh, hang on. Only got two left. I'll have to buy some more then. And do I have a fuel filter on me? No. Again, something I probably should have on me. We need a rear muffler D. Rear muffler D from there. Okay. We'll get this one added. Get the radiator radiator added, so we bought that. Anything else that needs to go on that? No. Okay, we need an alternator. Uh, we got the ignition coil, didn't we? Yes, got that. Get that added in. We need to get the old timing sorted out, the cam gear, and the V8 power steering pump, and of course a few. Oh, I haven't got a fuel filter. I just checked that. And an ignition distributor rotor. That's also what we need. Plus a brake servo. Then we do the clutch. Nice. That is looking pretty good, though. So, fuel filter. Need one of those. Uh, ignition rotor. We need one of those. Um, oh, my brain's gone out. Well, oh, yes, the... Um, if we go to the, here, we probably need... We'll need a clutch plate. We'll need a uh, pressure plate, we'll need the clutch release bearing, we'll need the flywheel. Um, yeah, we'll need all that. Uh, anything else what we'll need? Yeah, the, the uh, power steering pump for a V8. I think it was that one. Does it have a water... Ugh, can't spell water. Water pump for the V8. Well, the water pulley is probably going to be that one. And probably that water pump, I'm guessing. Again, guessing, but I'll just make sure I work on a V8 later. If I this is, These are the wrong parts. Oh, we didn't get the alternator, did we? No, didn't think about that. Got the fuel filter, though. And in here we've got the... Oh, we already had one of those. Okay, we've got spare, that's fine. That's in. Um, can we come back here and do this? Oh, that's got to be done from the lifter. Okay. Let's lift her up. It's coming together nicely. Right. So let's get the flywheel on. Clutch plate. I've got loads of those. Again, clutch pieces tend to be bits I've got before. Because the clutches are quite standard pieces on these cars, so um, yeah, you can pretty much get it. Right, we need a V8 gearbox, so I have one. Oh, I've got one which is 
Ooh, we did say we we're going to buy... Oh, do you know what? 91%, that's pretty good. Let's just say everything's going to be in green, shall we? Because 91% gearbox, that's, that's pretty damn fine. Do you have a V8 starter? No, we don't. Good. Right, that is looking... To the point. We spent 11 grand so far, and she's now worth 30 grand. Wow. So she's definitely going to bring in some profit. Let's oops, let's zoom, out, zoom out a little bit. Uh, add that on. We need a distributor cap. Do I have one? No, of course we don't. Um, oh, the cam gear. That's the thing I wanted. And the alternator. I think it's just a bog standard cam gear. Although it could be that one. So we'll get both of those. Um... Distributor cap. I don't know which clips they use. It could be A or B clips. Um, so that is a. We'll get a couple of those. Because they're, again, they're always useful things. Um, alternator. We're going to get that one. And I can't remember anything else. Short term memory is not one of my strongest things. And they would be, they were B clips. In case you're wondering, B clips all round. Nice. So she's on. Alternator. She's on. Cam gear. It was the V8 one, of course. And then we can get the. Can we zoom down a little bit? There we go. That's better. So we need a V8 chain. Do I have one? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so it's the V8 chain. It's going to be that one. Let's get that added. Nice. Uh, timing cover, V8. No, not surprisingly, I don't have one of those either. I, I'm a little bit worried. I think I am losing items from my inventory. Maybe I am clearing them down without fully realising what I'm doing. But you saw... Um, well... I noticed earlier that I uh, I did an exhaust and the bits I replaced, which were in red, they disappeared from my inventory, which is a bit weird. And I hadn't, you know, like cleared anything down, which is always a concern. Right, water pump V8. Got a couple of those. Water pump is on. A crank shaft pulley um, V8. Of course, we need one of those. Water pump pulley. Oh, I thought I bought a water pump pulley. No. Apparently not. Water pump pulley. Yeah. Uh, crank. Oh, that's not how you spell the crank. Crack. Yeah, let's put the N in there. We might get somewhere. Uh, one of those. It should be. Yep. She's on. Get the... Oh. Screw it in, of course. Don't do half a job, Taff. Do the th full thing. And then we need to just do our belts. And our belts are going to be a Serpentine B, of course. And probably the Serpentine A. Do we need a timing thing as well? It's a bit tight in there, isn't it? It's a little bit tight, if I'm honest. So, a Serpentine V8 A belt. And probably was the B belt. Boo, 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 boo. That one. Get that added. Nice. And get the A bell added. Nice. Look at that. Do not bend. It's got all the little wiring on there. And so we have a fan. No, we don't. Okay, we'll get one of those. Last bit we require. One of those bad boys. Look at those. Put your fingers in those and you would lose them. Uh, shadow it out. Oh, look at that. Good. Right, so that is looking pretty much complete now. We'll look around it. We need a brake servo. We obviously haven't got the brakes all sorted yet. But 
Oh, we need some um, HT leads as well. And we need some spark plugs. Buy a bag load of these. Uh, do we have... Oh, they probably call them ignition wires, don't they? Um... Oh, it could be V8s. Or is it going to be... Don't know. We'll wait there. I'm not going to buy those. I bought a lot of uh, stuff I don't really require today. Well, we'll use it, as I say. But uh, it probably looks a little bit silly, really. But there we go. Spark plugs are in, and it is the this bog standard V8 wires we require. Do we have any of those? No, we don't. It's always worth checking. We haven't got one in the parts store. Or in our inventory. Oh, look at that. Looking gorgeous. And that, my friends, we can stick the battery in. We did buy a battery. Is us almost there? Oh, we can't do that from here. Right! So that is... The engine and the front suspension pretty much complete. I think I did the suspension complete, didn't I? It's looking pretty good. Uh, anything else that needs to go on here? Just the wheels. Yep. That front suspension is looking pretty so. Oh, I just look at the exhaust. That's where they go. Rear muffler D's. Oh, let's quickly get those on then. Because um, that would be quite nice. Uh, as exhaust. Rear mufflers D's. Rear muffler D's. Let's get a couple of those. And actually, let's uh, engine. Let's just go to the starter V8. Let's get that on there. While we remember. And we're down here. Under the car. Let's just get that starter on. Get the rear muffler D's on. Get one on this side as well. Nice. Um, oh, let's get that brake servo on. That's one of the last things we need to do. Uh, brake servo, there we go. Now we've got the oil filter as well. Pop that on. I'm guessing the brake servo will have to be done from the engine compartment. But look at that. Oh, loving it, loving it. It's looking really good. Um, and that should go here somewhere. There we go. Good. That is that part of the car done and dusted. Obviously, the wheels need to go on. But for the moment, we're going to get some new rims and wheels. So I'm not terribly worried about that at the moment. But there. That is the engine and the front suspension completed. That's probably where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little reclamation reclamation restoration project on our shelby cobra uh, that is our va engine rebuilt gearbox installed and front suspension and brakes also installed wonderful next time we'll work on the rear suspension get that all installed okay and then we'll obviously look to start doing interior we've got the exterior to do and obviously we got lights we've got Oh, we've got loads of stuff to do, and I also want to get it sprayed once we once we are able. So yeah, we're taking a big step forward. I'm going to do some more jobs offline now to bring in some more cash. Just say we're 12 grand worse off than when we started, but our vehicle is now worth 34 grand, which is great. She's going to be absolutely gorgeous when we finish with her. Um, yes, I'm quite pleased how she's going. But we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are. Please hit that like and uh, subscribe button and follow the rest of the content on the channel. And uh, be sure to share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it as well. Any forums or anything, please be feel free to share the, uh, the video or embed it into the forums. That really does help the channel uh, grow and other people find the content on my channel, which is great. Help other people out. It's always a nice thing. Good stuff. Right, another car mechanic bonus video for you this week. Hope you enjoyed it. More to come. I might even do a second one this week. Um, if I have time, I am enjoying it. 
and uh, I want to get this card done and see how she looks finished. It'll be amazing. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.